We're going to convert the function y equals 3x squared minus 18x plus 29 to vertex form by partial factor. The way we do that is to common factor the first two terms and we include the leading coefficient in that. So we have 3x times x minus 6 plus 29. Now we can determine the x values where this parabola intersects the horizontal line y equals 29 by just trying to determine the x values where this part of the expression equals 0. So the important thing for algebraically uh, working out a problem like this is to let the first part of the expression equal 0 and then that would mean that either 3x equals 0 which would mean x was 0 or x minus 6 equals 0 which would mean that x is 6. We then can determine the axis of symmetry between these two points and which is therefore the axis of symmetry of the parabola by using the by uh, evaluating uh, 0 plus 6 over 2 and we find out that the axis of symmetry is at x equals 3. We can then take that x value and plug it in to the function equation to determine the y value. When we do that the y value is 2. So we know that the x value of the vertex is 3, the y value is 2, and the leading coefficient is 3. And so what we're able to do is state that the equation of the quadratic function in vertex form is 3 times x minus 3 quantity squared plus 2.